Hey gamers, Tony here from the ClassicLeak.com Gaming and Electronic Podcast, and today I'm doing a live walkthrough <laughs> review of Non-Flying Soldiers from uh, Blue Shadow Games, that's the developer, published by our good friends at Chilingo. It's a new puzzle game for the iPad, iPhone, um, iPod Touch, any iOS device basically, and uh, really fun little game here. It's an uh, arcade puzzle game, and it's one of those that... We've seen the same type of puzzle game before. It's kind of a placement puzzle game. You put different platforms and things around um, and try to navigate these little baby chicks through each level. And so I'm going to kind of walk you through um, what some of the levels look like and kind of give you a feel for the game so you know if it might be for you. So here's the menu system here. And what I really like is some of the bonuses of this game. It keeps track of your game options and stats, as you can see here. Um, and then there's some other cool bonus features if you click above the television in the menu screen. And what I really like here is they give you tons of unlockable artwork, movies, and then OST, uh, which is going to be like the music of the game. You can actually listen to the different music soundtracks, and some of them are pretty good, so that's kind of fun. And then really my favorite part of the game is this arcade thing here. Um, it's a little space shooter, uh, which allows you to play as the baby chicks in a shooter game. And I don't have any coins left to show you. You can actually buy coins in-app or collect them throughout the game. Um, and the longer the, you play, the more coins you can get. So that's pretty neat. You'll want to check out the space shooter. So it's kind of like getting two games in one. Um, the game plays across three different campaigns. I'm just going to show you a couple of the levels here. Um, what I really like about this game is even though it's a formula we've seen before, um, kind of the placement puzzle game as I mentioned, is this game's really polished. It has a World War II feel, which is kind of funny, but you can see in the screen some of the black lines appearing occasionally and it kind of gives that filtered television look from an old uh, World War II news story. And so you can also see here this is a top-down view. You can also adjust the camera and go um, from the side. You can actually do a free roam camera, which I'm doing here and adjust the angles, but you'll see basically the purpose of the game is to navigate these non-flying soldiers, these baby chicks, through the level, getting them to the goal, trying to get as many to survive as possible, um, and then obviously the most, if you collect all the medals, if you collect coins, if you um, get them through all alive, then like you obviously get the best, uh, the best score you can get for the level on a three-star scale. So. There are up to several hints, uh, bonuses you can collect to actually give you hints throughout the level of a question mark in the top left corner. I'm not going to do the hints, but uh, you can see this part here. And so as the game progresses, there's different types of platforms you can unlock to help guide your birds through. I'm placing a speed platform now to kind of propel them over the, um, the spikes. And then this is a bunker to kind of guide them. And what I really like about this game, as with many great uh, placement puzzle games, is you can actually um, win the level in multiple different ways. You can complete your goal in multiple different ways. So this is just one way to try this one. And it might fail, so we'll have to see. Kind of swiping back and forth, getting a look for this level. Here we go, and then you just kind of click that button and let them roll and see how you did. So. Oops, one got caught in the fire, one missed the bunker, and exploded in the spikes. Yikes, that's not how I wanted it to go. <laughs> that's alright. So two of my non-flying soldiers survived. And if you can hear the music in the background, kind of World War II-esque. So really, really polished action puzzle game here. A um, lot of levels, I think you get over 60 levels, obviously you have 3D graphics and this does support retina display, which I'm playing on an iPad 2 by the way, recorded um, through my PC capture card with an AverMedia Game Broadcaster HD. So if you're looking to record your iPad 2 or 3 screen, or I think iPhone 4S as well, I believe so, um, make sure you check out that internal capture card from AverMedia, it works well. Alright, let's see if I can do better this round. Maybe not. But as you can see, you can kind of adjust. You can delete the bunkers after you put them in. You can reorganize them to turn them again if you need to turn them further. And so there's all sorts of obstacles throughout the game, and then it kind of progresses as the game goes on. So. Holy crap, a blade. But one of my favorite parts about this game is it's a universal app. Um, works for any of your iOS devices. 
and uh, really really awesome as always from Chilingo you get a really good price so this game uh, is only 99 cents in the app store so if you're looking for a new puzzle game you only have to spend a buck which is pretty amazing all right here we go so far so good oh no I didn't put that bunker over far enough I missed those two things oh well here we go and I jump over that of course as well but at least all four birds survived so there we go Alrighty, well thank you so much for watching Classic Elite Reviews. I hope you enjoyed um, this non-flying soldiers review. Um, make sure you pick this one up, check it out from Chilingo, especially if you're in the mood for another puzzle game. And like, favorite, and subscribe to us. Have a good day.